Hello, my name's Daniel. Today, we're reading Lunch on a Pirate Ship by Carol Hart and Christina Stevenson. So get comfy and I'll begin. One fine day, a little boy called Jack was playing with his toys in his yard out back. It was so much fun being out and about that he didn't even hear his mum call out. Lunch is ready, little Jack's mum cried. But when at last Jack came inside, he couldn't bear to eat his lunch because his chips were cold and his baked beans crunched. I can't eat this soggy old chip. I'd rather have lunch on a pirate ship. I'll sail with the crews far out to sea. They're bound to have lunch for a boy like me. So he skipped and he tripped to the bustling docks. And there was a pirate ship tied to the rocks. Ahoy there, lad, the pirates cried. Climb on board if you'd like a ride. I've come for lunch said brave young Jack. I'd like to have a taste of a pirate snack. Of course, grinned the pirates. Try this dish. It's pickled crab and rotten fish. Rotten fish? Oh, yuck, Jack said. One bite of that and we'll drop down dead. Ah, said the captain. Whatever shall we do? We need a big lunch for a pirate crew. So they splashed and they dashed through a thousand waves to a land where giants lived in deep, dark caves. Oi, growled a giant. Hey, who goes there? Enter very carefully, if you dare. The pirates inched closer. It's only us, they cried. We're here for some lunch, please. Can we come inside? All right, grinned the giant. You're just in time. Have a lovely jubbly bowl full of... Cold green slime. Cold green slime, groaned Jack. No way. If we ate that gloop, we'd be poorly all day. You're right, sighed the giant. We need a tasty treat. I rather think a picnic would be very hard to beat. Then Jack sniffed. A sweet aroma drifting through the wood. He spied a wisp of purple smoke that did smell good. So they all jumped up on the giant's huge back and they raced and they chased down a shady track. There in a field by a bubbling stream was a table filled with cupcakes, cherries and ice cream. Hooray, cried Jack. This lovely feast will do for a giant and a boy and a pirate crew. So they tripped and they trapped across a creaking bridge. There was a pie in the oven and jelly in the fridge. But a hungry troll had tricked them. It jumped up. Boo! The tasty treat today, my friends, is all of you. Help! cried the giant as he splashed across the stream. Help! cried the pirates, dropping their ice cream. Help! yelled Jack as they dashed along the track. They sprinted from the hungry troll and didn't look back. They dashed and they crashed past the deep, dark caves. They bundled and they tumbled in their ship across the waves. They sprinted up to Jack's house as quick as quick can be. Ah, oh, there you are, said Jack's mum. You're just in time for tea. There's piping hot spaghetti topped with melted cheese. There's crunchy munchy carrots and teeny tiny peas. 
There's sticky apple doughnuts if you eat your greens and bowls of juicy strawberries with freshly whipped cream. They ate and they ate and they ate lots more. Then the giant cleared the plates while the pirates swept the floor. You know, said Jack, as they all sat down to rest, eating out is quite exciting. But mum's cooking tastes the best. Thanks for listening. See you next time.